Hi, we're Antonia and Richard. Welcome to Ant and Dick's Excellent Adventure. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. The moment of truth. The moment of truth. Come with us as we see what the damage is. <laughs> the first thing is we can't get in the gate. Fallen. <laughs> Look at the little lady go. I hope you've got some pants on. <laughs> oh, yes, somebody's uh, rumen or somebody has put a metal. Well, we're supposed to get in then. <laughs> Right, we'll bring it back in a second yeah. when we've assessed the situation. <laughs> right, having climbed over the wall <laughs> and uh, removed the ironwork, which somebody had kindly put behind the gate for us. So the grass needs cutting. Although there's nothing else to do. <laughs> We should have, should have bought a petrol lawnmower, see? I did say. Yeah. It's not too bad, to be honest. No, uh, a lawnmower might do it. And we get Stoyan in to do the rest. Yeah. Anyway, so I'm not filming your back. <laughs> not your, uh... <laughs> dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. You won't be able to see an awful lot because it's dark. Yeah, well, I'll hopefully stick the electrics on. Assuming they haven't cut us off. Let's just... There. Yeah, lights on. Oh, that's the bathroom light. You dummy. Right, let's try that one again. Look. Look. The man said, let there be light. And there was. Right, switch all the lights on because you won't see anything otherwise. <laughs> Ta Is that it? Well, it's still standing. Yeah. Largely. That tarpaulin's still in place. No idea what this is all about. <laughs> Rats, probably. Yeah, making themselves at home, eh? Yeah. Look at that. And the wardrobe's open. Why is the wardrobe open, strangely? I forgot we put the bin in there. Toilet roll. No, we've got to try and get this door open, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> Can you remember Do how you it works? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. You can watch me struggle. Yeah. It's one of my few pleasures in life. <laughs> Feels like I'm in an episode of the Crystal Maze or something. Half our audience are too young to remember that. So. <laughs> no, I can't remember. I'll give you. Okay, do you want to come and take the camera? Yeah, come and take the camera then. <laughs> Let your super mechanic dick have a go. There we are. Couldn't see a lot anyway. Super Dick! Super Dick! <laughs> Is there anybody? Yeah. <laughs> Something's blown off. <laughs> that was me, darling. <laughs> oh, Dave and Chili. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> something. Oh, I suspect. I think a rat's got in and knocked something off the. That's been knocked. That's been knocked as well. Right? Yeah. No. Oh, the things. <laughs> dead ladybirds, look. Oh, yeah. Place full of dead ladybirds. If I remember rightly, it was something similar last year. Then, the place was full of shield bugs. Shield bugs, that well, was we it. Open. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We good clean up, darling. Uh, no. Yeah. Down there. <gasps> Can't see an awful lot. No. Well. Who's the other light switch? Yeah. That's it. There we are. <laughs> I'm not going to film the whole thing again. Oh. Oh, it's leaked. Let's take it outside. <laughs> Down next to my washing machine. Oh. Horseshoe has to be that way up or down. Yeah. Still standing. We'll get the tarpaulin up in a second so we can get yeah. some light in here. Yeah. No. Well, it's a bit of a clean, that's for sure. Yeah, but we never got round to hoovering the whole lot, did we, before we left? I know, but it was never like There that. was n probably no point. No. Given the amount of. Uh, Dead bugs. Dead bugs. Yeah. <gasps> right. right. There's <laughs> some things to do. Yeah. Start by putting the fridge and freezer on. Where do you start? Where do you Probably start? want to wipe out first as well. No. Yeah. Oh, that was your phone Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> There's some air in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the blossoms coming out and starting to come out of the trees. Right? Look at that. Eh? Need some view, innit? I wonder if the thrush will come and nest again. Nest done. Oh, and the hairdryer's still here, so that's useful. <laughs> and the star of paninis are still there. Anyway. Well, yeah. Welcome back. We've got to start work now. So, bits you don't see, or didn't see, is that just before the end of the last video, if you watch that as we actually arrive at our house, we drove into Veliko Tarnovo, the nearest big town, uh, on our way here to get some shopping, obviously, because the cupboards were there and the fridge and freezer were turned off. And I just pulled in the Kaufland car park. It's the, one of the big supermarket chains here and there's a knock on the window and a very kind uh, gentleman uh, also British who'd been following us down the road and evidently flashing his lights at us but I didn't see uh, pointed out that we've got a problem with our back tyre and I'll put a photograph in here so you can see what I mean when I say a problem with the back tyre um, so I ended up changing the uh, back tyre this one for the spare, which is under there, in Kaufland car park, I mean, uh, jack the thing up in the blazing sunshine and uh, sweating well, and swapping that for the spare. So that was the first thing on our arrival to our area in VT. Morning all. So uh, 
sorry for the odd view, but we're just off to Veliko Tarnovo um, to uh, have a new tyre fitted. This is what I changed, I don't know if you can see that properly. I'll put a finger in to give you some idea of the size of it. This is why I changed the wheel in Kaufland car park the day we arrived. Now, I used to be in the motor trade and I've never seen anything like that before. But, you know, there's not much we can do about it. The tyre's done about 40,000 miles, so uh, it's not new by any means. But, um, very strange. Anyway, we found a very friendly uh, tyre dealer in VT and uh, we're just off there now to sort that out. Don't buy an old property, I said. <laughs> so we've rocked up, the kitchen tap has broken off, which means we're not, we've not got any cold water inside. But, come with me. Until we can sort that out, we have got cold water outside. And the washing machine, because this is earlier in the water line, if you like. There's another, there's a stopcock for that tap, and then there's another one down in the tavern downstairs. So that's off downstairs. Strangely, because it's on a different line, I think we've probably got hot water. <laughs> so flushing the toilet, we'll be filling a bucket up to flush it with. You may cringe at that, but we used to camping, living uh, fairly basically. It doesn't flow for us in the slightest. But look, we've just taken the tarpaulin up that we put down for the winter. And look at that. How can you knock it? Eh? I know the lawn wants cutting. But look, the blossom's coming out on our fruit trees. And look at that view into the distance there. Worth every penny and up, eh? Fantastic. Anyway. Bring you back when the cleaner's done a bit more. You know that skirt's see-through in front of the window, don't you? I'm just saying. But we'll, we'll use that as the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure of, YouTube will pick that one. Get lots of clickbait. So, a continuing tap saga on uh, the Sunday after we arrived on the Saturday. And as you've seen, uh, we had uh, no cold water in the kitchen. So, the Sunday, we get down to the uh, local hardware shop in Elena, just down the road, which luckily is open for a few hours on a Sunday, and we purchased a new tap. And yes, it is just a, an outdoor tap because uh, we've only got cold water in the kitchen anyway uh, and that's what works. So there you go. Um, so then I go back downstairs to the tavern, turn the cold water on of course, come back upstairs, the tap is fine, no problems at all. However, come with me. I can't keep up. <laughs> so in the bathroom, the taps, despite being shut, are peeing water out at full force. Mm. So, I go back down to the tavern, you can guess where this is going, turn the water off again, come back up, take the taps off, which we fitted last year, to find that the washer is gone in the cold tap. So, back down into Elena, <laughs> back to that same shop again, and get a pack of tap washers. So. Fit that, that's that sorted out. Uh, turn the cold water on down in the tavern. Uh, this is, I've lost a bit of half a stone doing this. Top, cut, turn the cold water on again in the tavern and all is good. Except, come with me. Back into the kitchen. To find that in our seven month absence, we had a little visitor the little visitor and come under here. It made itself at home, hadn't it? Yeah, it had. So this is the waste pipe. I don't know if you can see that in that light. This plastic is the waste pipe off the off the kitchen sink. Um, it's just plugged into that bit there. And this was all eaten it, it, away. It completely eaten away. Completely eaten away. Uh, the the evidence had been stored in its nest. <laughs> Not only had it eaten away the plastic pipe, but under here, it had nibbled on my nuts. I mean literally nibbled on my nuts. This it's, is true, I can verify. Yeah. 
and it wasn't a very pleasant experience, I've got to say. You, you were know, most upset, weren't you? I was very upset. If you were watching us as we were about to leave last year, I picked loads of hazelnuts off one of the tree outside and they were in a bag stored in a cool place, which was under here. And the little arsted had eaten all my nuts. I was not a happy man, I'll tell you. Anyway, so, into VT, <laughs> the Lico Tarnovo, VT as it's known colloquially, uh, to buy to Practica, the equivalent to being here if you're back in the UK, to buy a nice new waste pipe. And now, wow. everything works. It's a miracle. <laughs> As you know, um, well, maybe you don't. <laughs> when we first arrived, um, it was 28 degrees on the thermometer. You can't see that, can you? But there is one there. There is one there. And um, it, the last couple of days, it's now gone down to 10. Yep. Something like that. So we have retreated to This area of the house, which is actually what it was designed for, the wood over here as well to protect from any drafts. This is now our daytime residence and evening, obviously, as well. And um, until the weather warms up on Wednesday, apparently, then uh, this is what we do. And yeah, as I said, you know, this is what. Is supposed to happen not necessarily in April <laughs> this is more of a sort of winter residence that you would have because our bedrooms just over there behind so you would literally be like be living in these two rooms and then making a, a mad dash for the uh, bathroom as, as necessary and uh, we have uh, although we haven't lit the fire uh, we have prepared I think this was from uh, Prunings last year. Yeah, this pile of logs here is actually what we yeah. cut down last year when yeah. we first arrived and pruned all the trees. Um, meanwhile, we have been using our little um, electric uh, heater that we brought camping, and we were so glad we did on the way down. We really needed it, didn't we? When that in 26 that degree 26, heat. It was, it was a yeah, 26, 28 degrees or something most of the way down, wasn't it? And you kept saying, I'm really glad we brought that heater with us. That's right, you're. Um, you're purely in, in silhouettes. Oh, am I? That's yeah. probably a better look, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, we are now pleased that we have this. And uh, yeah, it works a treat. It really does. Yeah, it's been nice and warm in here, hasn't it? Yeah. Just with that little fan heater going. Yeah. As Anne says, that, that's what this house was designed for. To live out the front when it's warm. Yeah. And in the back when it's cold. And it works. Mm. Well, what made you think it wouldn't work? It's been like that for yeah, 300 years. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you think it wouldn't work? But there you go. Anyway, you're back in silhouette beautifully. <laughs> yeah. 
So here we are in front of the fireplace. Now, just to give you a perspective where we are. And I was just taking a photograph of Grogu in the, in the old cooking pot there. And just notice this. Can you see what we can see? There's a face in the smoke in the back of the fireplace. Or not smoke, ash, should I say. In the back of the fireplace. Can you see that? I can see. It's ah. almost like reflections of glasses or something. Yeah, it? it looks like a black hat, glasses. I can see a nose, a City mouth, nose. a chin, and possibly even some shoulders there. How spooky is that? Eh? <laughs> now, in the comments below, who does that look like? Seriously, who do you think that is? Because that is actually quite creepy. That is definitely, yes. definitely. I really can't not see that now. <laughs> So obviously, a face. Ooh. Anyway, leave that one with you. Bye bye.